Welcome to IT Boost YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show how to make roof tiles in Revit. Under the families, I will click new. And under the family templates, I will go to English. So I am going to do in uh, metric millimeter. So I will go to English folder. And I will select metric curtain panel pattern based. Select metric curtain panel pattern based template and press OK. Right. So this is the template you will get. So select a grid. Select a grid and here I will change the spacing of the grid size. It's 3000 millimeter. Approximately the tile size, I will make it 300 millimeter, a little bit more 306 because we have to make a small join. So I will make the grid size both horizontal and vertical uh, 306, right? And press apply. So the grid size, you have to select the blue color one and you have to change it. So you will change the grid size to that one. And I will change the scale also a little bit. See these thick lines. So I will go 1 to 20 at the moment. Right. Now I will select the work plane. I will set the work plane. I will click set work plane. And I will select this work plane here. This one. Right. You can select this one. Or this one. I will select this one. Right. Now I will go. I will take this start end radius arch. And I'll click this endpoint and this midpoint, and I will make a arch, and again to this endpoint, and another arch in the same radius, and click finish. See. Now take the pick line. Take the pick line. Now set the work plane. Set the work plane again, click set and select this one. Now take the pick line and I will give the offset around 25. 25, so when you select the plane here, click. So it will be distance 25, right? And it will be little bit angled. I'll show that one right here, click here. Right, now again, click, uh, make the offset around 10 and here 10. If you want to make the line too thick, I will make it 1 to 5. And I start line. I will close and close this uh, one minute. I have to make this one 0. Offset 0 again and take uh, the line and connect the enclosed area. Again, enclose this one. Again, set the work plane, click set work plane and select this work plane, pick line, offset 10 millimeters, right, again make the offset 0 and take the uh, line tool carefully connect to this end to the line end, not to the grid end. Right. If you feel the line is too thick, I will make it 1 to 2 or 1 to 1 also fine. Click line. Yeah. So here. Right. Now, check the modify tool and select this one with the control key. Select this one and click create form solid form yeah you get the solid form now you can see the angle 25 here see right the angle right the angle angle lead 25 the offset i gave in the initial see the green line the slope right the slope of the tile right there will be a small slope in the tile so that is the slope right now we will make the join point in the start So again, I will set the work plane, set the work plane. Uh, click this one. And uh, I'll click pick line. 
and I will make one millimeter offset, one millimeter offset, little bit extended. By that one came, I will undo, right, right. Now again, uh, offset, I will make it 20 downwards from there, sorry, undo, uh, one minute. Again, big, uh, big line, uh, one millimeter, I, I undo that one, upwards, right. Again, uh, big line, offset around 20. Or better to select 10, I will make it 10. So downwards from here, 10. And from here, 10. Oh. And do that one here yeah. right now carefully select the line here yeah, see you have to connect carefully here the upper end line point uh, to this uh, sorry I'll make this offset zero upper line end point to this one again here line not to confuse with the other one here to here okay now take the modify tool select uh, this thing right everything selected here see click create form solid form so you'll get the solid form here click the red axis make it smaller and inside little bit smaller this is a little bit smaller here can you see right here see we can assign the material now right now i will select this face go to material i will click, click create new material I will rename it, I will say roof tile, roof tile, I will select roof tile, open close access browser, appearance library, I will go to paint, I will select this, uh, this powder, powder coat rough, right, so I'll, I think that will be fine. Double click that one, OK, apply, OK. Make this one realistic, you see. Now select the other face, material, same tile material what we have created, you see. So we made a nice roof material. So try this one and learn. I hope you enjoyed the video and learn how to make roof tiles in Revit. In my next video, I will show how to place this made roof tiles in the place of roof. If you didn't subscribe our channel, please subscribe our channel. If you have any question, please comment in the comment box.